We're going to go through here today how to create a, your own custom quarterly or annual inspection template that's very similar to your move in or move out template that basically has a full list of uh, essentially what we call a condition table. And so what we're going to do is just basically modify a move in or move out template. Okay, so let's just show how to do that. So I'm going to go to settings and hit document templates. And here's the list of available templates. I'm going to take this move out inspection and I'm going to create a new draft. And I can enlarge this here to make sure it's all a little bigger, a little easier to read. Okay, now first I'm going to go ahead and change the title and say I'm going to say a quarterly inspection. All right. Now, what I also need to do is get rid of the system documents so field here. So if I get rid of this field, that's basically telling Z Inspector that this is your own company custom private document, not to get updates, and we're not going to ever overwrite that template. And it's your own template. So you need to get rid of that field. All right. Now, we also have the inspection activity type. So what we're going to want to do is just make this inspection. And that's just kind of how we're going to lump your photos together to make it a little bit easier to see. And we've got other videos that kind of cover why we want to do that. Um, we've also got here the, cut, the condition table. And so rather than move in conditions, we want to just call these something like quarterly conditions. So this is the status every quarter or semi-annual or annual or whatever you would like that to be. Okay, now we also, you can put in any types of custom fields you want. You can certainly in, add in other fields in here. There's other videos on how to do that. Um, but I'm going to just change these final comments. For example, I don't need um, this type of text that's really used at the end of a move out inspection. So I'm just going to get rid of that and get rid of that. And now I've got this. I simply hit publish and I've got a new template on my account. And that is now already synced and available on your mobile apps.